Do you want to add physics to your character for science purposes? Well, this is how you do it. For this, we're gonna need to install an add-on that you are gonna find in the description. From this zip file, we only need this one called springbones.py. So drag that out of the zip file. Now, in Blender, let's start a new project for a moment just to keep things organized. Go to the scripting panel. Don't be scared, it's pretty easy. Just follow along. Click open and look for where you save the add-on. Then go to the line 578 and look for this def section. You're gonna select those two lines you see and replace them with these lines. You can find them in the description. After pasting it, let's move the def word by pressing the tab key and let's do the same to the two lines below. Just make sure that they are aligned to the other parts of the code. Now go to text and click save. Now back to your project, let's go to edit, preferences and let's install the add-on. Once you installed, let's go with the fun stuff. We are gonna select the bones we want to have physics. Once you have your selection, go to the bone properties panel and while holding alt, check spring and rotation and click the start button. And just like that, your bones bounce. And of course, those parts can be added to this too. And that's pretty much it. Sometimes it might get weird when you have a lot of bones connected, like this model that has lots of bones for the hair and jacket, but as long as there are not too many, you can add hair, chest, butt, clots and whatever you want. And if it is too bouncy, just click stop, select the bones you want to change and while holding alt, move these values here so they don't move so much. Or if you want them to jiggle more, you can do that too, then hit start again. Now you can do whatever animation you want and they will just bounce with those movements. That's all for today's video guys. I found this method a few years ago from this channel and this the creator of the add-on. I'll leave a link to their videos in the description. The add-on used to work perfectly, but it's a little too old. If you look at the script file, it was made for Blender 2.8. We are on 4.5 right now, and I was having problems when clicking the interactive mode button. So I, with the help of ChatGPT, I was able to find the problem and fix it so we can use this add-on in newer versions. This is a very easy way to add physics and jiggling to your characters without going with complex stuff like actual simulations and constraints. With this, in a few clicks, you already have what you want. Now, that's all for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.